Hey, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew, aka Booty Sweat, and today we are showing off some more Shao Kahn gameplay. You guys voted uh, a while ago saying you wanted to see Shao Kahn, and um, generally I think people get pretty hyped for Shao Kahn, so we're definitely playing him. I mean, he is my second character, so I know how to play him decently enough. So, <clears throat> I mean, except when I'm doing that, stuff like that. Seems like at least every once in a while I gotta get in the the non-confirmed shoulder tackle and uh doesn't usually work out very well, but we kinda got away with it there. This guy wasn't really punishing a whole lot of stuff, por los linque. There I didn't hit confirm that, but that's fine, that was enough to kill him, although it did give up the corner. That's all right. It's not the end of the world. There, I was expecting the breakaway, even though uh, people around this level don't do breakaway a whole lot, and uh, I don't know if it's because they don't know how or if they just don't do it. There, I should have ended with annihilation because I didn't have any meter, but I wasn't paying attention to that. But it doesn't matter. We're pressuring him pretty hard, and. Doing a decent job. <clears throat> Getting hit with the interactable. Excuse me, I'm clearing my throat. No, I'm not falling for that. And we're gonna take this match. We're not getting random fatal blow. It's not happening, brother. And so he lost, so he switched off to Scorpion. And there, I think he went for the wake up up too, because it's not invincible. And so he just got hit out of it. There, I... Uh, forward 4 is plus, but I guess it's not plus enough to follow up with forward 3 because it usually ends up trading if they poke. There, I don't know why I did that. It was obviously going to punish, and I just decided to give up the corner for no reason, so... Kind of not not the greatest choice, but I decided to get out of there with the interactable. I don't use the interactables much, and by the way, that was such a sick roll. And look at all of that damage, bro. And then the whiff punish into the back three, into the big juicy combo. Ugh. His health bar is gone, dude. That was a really, really nice sequence there. I'm just gonna wake up up to you because I'm a scrub, and then... Yeah. Knock him out. And then I decided to end this one with a fatality. I don't really know why. I think someone in the chat asked me to, if I remember correctly. But can I take a second to talk about this fatality? It is the goofiest fatality. I think both of Shao Kahn's fatalities in this game are super goofy. This one in particular, he hit them in the face hard enough to launch their head out their back. But there's not a scratch on their face. Their face is in pristine, perfect condition after it was just smashed with a hammer so hard that his whole head and spine went flying out his back. It's just so silly, so goofy, campy. It's what I love about Mortal Kombat. Anyways. All right, for the next match, I had a noob Cybot player, and this guy had a lot of games played. So I actually expected much more of like an actual match than I've been getting up to this point. Uh, but we're still getting that nice juicy damage. We're trying to go into the back four and then we get the nice spear toss. I need that spear toss crushing blow. Want that corner? Get in that corner, young man. Roll out, get hit by the jump three. This is a scramble. There, I didn't convert that, but hey, you know, whatever. It's okay. So, yeah, up to this point, this guy actually is playing a lot better than a lot of my other opponents up to this point, at least. Round two. That's not like a spoiler or, or, you know, to indicate he stops playing well. That's what it kind of sounded like, but that's not really how I meant it. There, I was expecting the breakaway again. Didn't get it, but that's okay. You suck. 
finish with the backbreaker. And big, nice, fat combo to finish the round. And, uh, of course, dropped it at the end because the slow-mo finish him screen does that to you, right? That's what it does to everybody. And then, just like the last guy, this guy switched to Scorpion after losing initially. So... Seems to be a consistent thing. This skin for subs er, for Scorpion is still really sick, though. The Season of Blood skin. Wasn't that like the first combat league ever? Was the Season of Blood? I think that's the case. Nice conversion off of the back three. So, this is actually going much worse for my opponent than it did when he played Noob. He probably should have stuck with Noob, but... I guess he thought he would do better with Scorpion. I'm not mashing there, I know you're plus. Although I say that, and I'm kind of... I'm kind of getting blown up right now. That was not a punish, he just didn't block after that, so... Back four? Yep. Although it didn't work. That could have been really bad if he had decided to actually punish, and then I could have punished as well, but I did forward four for some reason. I do not know why. This is kind of a scramble right now. Get in that corner. One string that I definitely need to use more is the... Just the stand one, because it's a really good anti-air. But I need to practice that more. And we're gonna send the head flying. Bye! Quit switching to Scorpion. And for this last set that I want to showcase in this episode, um, we were fighting a rain player, and this was kind of... Shao versus the ninja army, I guess. We have Scorpion, Noob, Cybot, Sub-Zero, and Rain. All fighting against my Shao. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had to clear my throat. Rain is a weird matchup, because... I don't know, a lot of people don't think he's very good, but he's just really fast. He's hard to deal with if you're not really super familiar with the matchup. Which I'm not, because not that many people at my level play him, because he's hard. But, uh, so sometimes I can kind of struggle against Rain. He has decent whiff punishes, he's really fast. Fight. See, and there's an example where trying to use the forward three after the forward four I just don't think the forward four is plus enough for it to really work. We're gonna wake up down two, because I saw him jumping. And I know that Argus plunge is super unsafe. I don't know why I'm not punishing it in this situation. I could probably punish it with something other than forward three. Forward three is very slow. Go for the hammer lunge there, didn't work. And he's gonna hit me with the crushing blow to take the round, so. Final round. Fight. You'll also notice I have I have ground shatter equipped on this variation, but I'm just not using it very much, and that's a mistake. Uh, if you have ground shatter, you need to be using it. Because it catches people a lot. And it keeps you safe on a lot of stuff, so... For Shao Kahn especially, and there I am dropping the, fo the stand four. Um, for Shao Kahn especially, where he's such a high-risk, high-reward character, you need a tool that will keep you safe on some things. And Ground Shatter is that for him. So I definitely need to practice utilizing it more. And that's kind of one of the purposes of this series, too, is... By watching these replays, I can kind of analyze the things that I'm not doing particularly well, and hopefully that helps me just as much as it helps anybody else who's watching. So, anyways.
And this guy actually was a pretty decently high rank and level. So I think he's probably used rain a lot. And um, there's probably a lot of people that have a hard time dealing with it. There, that wasn't super optimized, but that's okay. That was. That was a nice juicy combo for 41% for one bar. And then I get the anti-air back three. The, uh, the back three is really, really good for catching people who like to try to jump out of the corner. Because if you can get the raw back three in the corner, uh, again, you're doing 41% for one bar. Which is pretty good. It would have caught him again. If I had done it again there, it would have caught him again, but... I tried to respect him a little too much. And there... That's another example. If I could have converted that, the, um, the hammer lunge into back three, back three, uh, stand four into the EX tackle, and then stand four into annihilation, that whole combo is another, like, easy 40% for... Uh, 41% for one bar. So, anyway, I was annoyed by that raw fatal blow, and so we gave him the brutality again. You guys are seeing this brutality a lot, because it's the one that I had at the time, so... I was trying to go for it a lot. Anyways, Shao Kahn, he defeats the ninja army. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one. Have a good one, and be blessed.